It's lovely to be here. I've traveled a long way to be with you all today. I am Jasmine, the child advocate. I've been speaking out publicly since 2021, since a close friend of mine was murdered by the government mandated bioweapon. The poison. Okay, I have some good news and some not so good news. The good news is that after my talk, I have a surprise for you. The bad news is that due to time constraints, I can only give you part one of my transgender talk. My opinions are not always shared by everyone. If you are sensitive to opposing views regarding the transgender issue, then please cover your ears or walk away and do some shopping. As I thought, no one has walked away. <laughs> Let that be noted for the record. Vladimir Lenin once said, give me one generation of youth and I will transform the whole world. I'm afraid we are that generation and the transformation that's coming is going to be a nightmare for us all. Today, in our schools, teachers are forcing distorted facts onto young children's minds by suggesting to them that they may have been born in the wrong body. Children as young as four years old are highly susceptible to suggestions and hypnosis is all about suggestions. All you have to do is make sure there are lots of pride flags and drag queens and transvestites around the school. Get the children relaxed and you have very fertile ground on which you are able to start putting these suggestions into their minds. It is utterly disgusting and abhorrent. Any teachers forcing their own distorted sexual opinions on the children are guilty of emotionally traumatising them. There is one teacher I can think of in a school in Rye in Wales. This teacher is not suited to teaching children and needs to be removed from the school. I just want to give a shout out to the kids in the class who stood up to her distorted views. Good on you girls. Don't, no <laughs> Don't accept any teacher who does not allow you to think for yourself and question anything and who doesn't allow you to form your own opinions. This teacher and it sounded like a she, but maybe she is a cat. She claimed that gender has nothing to do with whether you have a penis or a vagina. What utter woke nonsense! She was attempting to warp the students' minds with her gender nonsense. And just like any good fascist dictator, she went on to say if the children don't accept her distorted views, that they need to go to a different school. How disgusting is that? This video went viral on TikTok and shows with utter disgust how this teacher was trying to force her own sexual opinions on the students in the class who rightly objected. Then the teacher shouted at them, you're going to be sent to the head teacher to be re-educated. I was shocked when I heard it, stunned. Where the hell are we? In North Korea? right to hold different opinions and this is mine. Today in some schools in the UK transvestites, that's men dressed as ladies and with their genitals hanging out of thongs on full display are appearing as dancers parading themselves in front of very young children. Jimmy Savile would have loved to be taking part in this. He would have been very happy to volunteer to be one of these transvestites and getting paid for living out his perversions in children's schools. I find this behaviour despicable and it would appear our education system has lost its moral compass and have fallen for the satanic wishes of perverts. Teachers are guilty of traumatising children in their schools and need to be held accountable for these crimes against the children. genders are there? Mm. Have you ever heard a more ridiculous question? 
question. I am stunned by the stupidity of people because that has to be the dumbest question ever in the history of Homo sapiens. Some people are so messed up in the head that they believe there are loads of genders. This teacher is one of these. They are grooming us children in school with age-inappropriate sexualization. I have friends at school who think they are lesbian or gay. They are just 12 years old. They don't understand what life is about. And before they get an opportunity to discover things for themselves, we have evil governments getting inside their brains with this disgusting nonsense. Until this abuse started, the same friends of mine never questioned their sexuality and, if left alone, would have grown up to be normal young women and normal young men. And yes, I'm using the word normal intentionally. And if anyone has a problem with that, then go and see a doctor and get your head checked out. <laughs> This is an assault on our intelligence. It is pure indoctrination. Children are being given hypnotic suggestions in schools and attached to these suggestions are images of the magical and enchanting rainbow that all children love, mixed in with perverts and drag queens. It's a massive hypnotic agenda designed to confuse and mix up the children's natural identities, confuse their intelligence and to make them believe that they may have been born in the wrong body. Just think about that. I mean, how can you be born in the wrong body? This is a brutal and savage attack on children's psychology. It is totally unacceptable and must stop. Any decent parent with good moral ethics will stand by me on this. God created male and female. He did not create anything in between. And anyone who says any different to that says it either because they've been brainwashed by their school, have psychological issues, or have ulterior motives for doing so. All you men who like dressing up as ladies and wearing pretty dresses and ladies' stockings and makeup and all you lesbians and gay men, you already have a safe place in society. I am not judging any of you. You are already included in society and have been for a long time. Do you want to bring them over to our last side? Roman Maxim Law says, he who will be deceived, let him be deceived. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> this transgender propaganda has absolutely nothing to do with inclusion or a safe place. It has everything to do with confusing children's minds and intentionally creating a toxic environment amongst the people by putting pornographic weirdos in the classrooms of very young children. And let's just say, I am wrong, and it is about inclusion. That they are just going to have to include me too. And the millions of children in the UK that disagree with this transgender nonsense and this brainwashing this disgusting indoctrination of us, and even of four and five year olds. The people behind this should be arrested and thrown in prison. For heaven's sake, ask the dogs how many genders there are, or the birds and the bees. Did they look confused about it? No, I find it highly inappropriate for the schools to be involved in any sex education no, no. at all. When they taught me about sex, both yeah, myself and many others in my class were traumatised yeah. right, okay. and scared and reduced to tears by what had just been put into our innocent minds. We have just been traumatised by our school, our minds corrupted. We were not ready to know about that and wish they had never said anything. <laughs> I was an innocent little girl and traumatised by the education system. How terrible is that? It was the job of my parents to teach me that when I was ready to know. It is personal and between me and my parents. And the school should keep out of it. It is not their business. Yes. Yes. or not. The schools have proven themselves
themselves to be totally untrustworthy to teach children anything about sex or gender. It is time for parents to stand up and remove all sex education from the schools. All parents must boycott their child's schools if they are forcing this transgender nonsense down their children's throats. Yeah. It is you, the parent, who must make a stand now and stop this. Go to the schools, protect your children's minds and protest. Tell your children to walk out of class in disgust. Do not comply. Now, a little bit of advice for the school teachers. Listen to me. Start showing your students some respect. We are not interested in knowing what you think about sex or gender. We will make up our own minds about that by using critical Please let me know. 